Hi guys and welcome back. So um, we have seen yesterday uh, in my view exactly what will happen here with Bitcoin in the immediate next hours and lo and behold I was right. It happened exactly what I predicted and I will definitely jump here um, in a minute straight into the content and show you what I was talking about. But before I do that, if you enjoy my content, please subscribe to the channel and also activate the notification bell so that you will never miss out on these important uh, crypto updates here. So we have a lot of things to talk about today. So let's uh, waste no time and get here straight into the content. I'm here on the Bitcoin four hourly chart. So and I had told you guys yesterday that after this massive move to the downside, it looks like that after the initial pump here to the upside out of this symmetrical triangle, uh, which had a more bearish bias and should have broken to the downside, but instead we broke up, that I still believe that we will head into lower levels based on this um, rising channel, this uh, rising wedge that we were forming here. So and that this here might have been um, the top for that, um, yeah, for the immediate short term based on this rising wedge. So, and that was exactly what happened here. Uh, I had uploaded the video yesterday um, just at the moment where we reached here, uh, this top section of this uh, upward sloping resistance line of this rising channel. So, and from there we broke them down exactly as I had predicted it and also broke under it now. So, and um, technically the target of um, this um, rising channel or this rising wedge would be the bottom here all the way down at $46,000. And um, now the question is obviously, will we reach that target or will we will see here before that already a bounce back to the upside. So, and I don't want to rule out that we could actually see here um, a further bounce from the $48,500 area or in the worst case from $47,300. So now we see here on this new four hourly candle, which is open, um, just for over an hour here right now that we are that we have gotten a bounce here from the 48.5 uh, um, K area. So and that comes from here where it was support resistance here support resistance here it was support. So and now we tested this support one more time. So there is some confluence that this could uh, hold as support. But when we look here on some indicators, uh, for example, on a stochastic RSI, um, there is still more room to go to the downside. So it um, could technically happen that we see here again 48.5, 47.3. Um, and let's see what the EMA ribbon is doing. So also here we are still clearly under the EMA ribbon, so which is also a bearish sign. So we went here up to the middle band, got rejected from there, and then we're not able to stay within the ribbon. So that is also for the immediate short term bearish. So and um, unless we are getting here a crazy bounce back to the upside, um, yeah, we will stay for at least, in my opinion, for another four or five days under this ribbon because the 52,000 area here in this resistance block here has proven to be strong resistance right now. Uh, and that comes here from the past. So when I take here the EMA ribbon away, so here where it was strong support, here where we broke through this resistance block the first time, so here you see also from there, we got also a heavy rejection uh, the first time. So basically the same what we experienced now here in the last couple of days. So and then I have to go here quite further back here. So and there you also see here it broke the support. Here it was support, resistance, here strong support and also here. Oh, there is um, a candlestick pattern. Sorry, guys. So yeah, here support. So you see, there's a lot of confluence um, in that area right now. So and um, yeah, that's why it is such um, such a hard resistance level to break for the Bitcoin bulls here um, right now. So um, yeah, so I believe in the immediate short term, we could see here a little bit further downwards movement. Uh, before we see here a retest of the uh, $1,052,000 area. So which is absolutely fine. We can go here for quite a while sideways, but most likely by the end of the week um, there, I believe we could see here um, a retest all the way up here um, with the incoming weekly close. And we should also not forget we have CME gaps in the $50,000 area, but also one just beneath us. So they also fill sooner rather than later. 
So um, yeah, so also me personally, I'm right now standing on the sidelines. So you can see here, here um, I have a Bitcoin on the side just to see in which direction we are actually going here. So and I wait for a confirmed move here, either to the upside or to the downside um, to take advantage of this uh, for the next breakout trade. So also here on uh, Bybit, I have no trade open. So, but if you are um, in a really experienced and risk adverse trader, obviously you can go to the pinned comment below. There are my affiliation links to Bybit and to Femex. You get still a, um, a deposit bonus. Um, on both uh, platforms for using uh, my link, but uh, yeah, be aware you should be an experienced trader if you want to trade in this shop. Um, then I want to point out um, Femex has right now also a trading competition. So um, I just signed up with um, uh, as a team leader. So my team name is AM Crypto, AM Crypto Army. So you can just go here, join a team. So and then uh, you have to find me here. So unfortunately, they have no uh, option to search for it. Um, yeah, so I'm not even listed ah, here. Here is the search option, but I might not be listed yet because I just did this. So you see, but here you will find me uh, once the video is uploaded, you should be able to find me there. So they have amazing price pools here. So you see the more people are joining, the higher will be the price pool it can go up all the way to $750,000. Um, as a prize pool that will be shared um, through uh, the team um, that um, that we are now building for this competition. It launches here on the 15th of December. So we have um, a week time to get as many of, of you uh, crypto soldiers from the AM Crypto Army into this. And um, yeah, let's make it definitely some money in this trading competition. So now let's get back here um, to Bitcoin. Uh, and here I want to go to the daily chart. So um, something that I would like to point out, or we also should not forget, uh, we have seen this in the past, that um, we had here these falling wedges, and then we broke here, um, obviously out of this to the upside, so here we have another falling wedge, and we broke for now to the downside, but we get still supported of this upward sloping support line here. And we should not forget that we had a couple of times this year um, the scenario where we break down out of it and then at some point we got a massive bounce back up and we're actually uh, then still validating it um, to the upside. It was just lagging. So we should definitely not uh, disregard this possibility that if we would come down here to this trend line here one more time to the $4,700 area, $74,300 area that we could see here the uh, boots stepping in and then we get here then a massive move back to the upside. So, but obviously um, we should follow the trend. And for now, even though from the macro structure, we're still in a bull trend in the immediate short term, the short term trend is bearish. So there is no way to deny this. And uh, yeah, uh, we can only do one thing. We either sit on the sideline or we uh, dollar cost average into our positions. So then I also want to talk quickly about Ethereum. So Ethereum, like I said to you guys yesterday, uh, this year is most likely a, a bump and run pattern what we are seeing here. And um, we are fighting right now with the neckline to stay above this and uh, to confirm this neckline um, as um, support. So and once we clearly get your support, um, so I'm, with clearly I mean that we are trading over $4,400 and um, staying consistently above this, then we will see also the so-called Apple run um, that is obviously now missing for Ethereum. So here the immediate short term looks still good. I think we will go up here to test the $4,400 area uh, in the next couple of hours one more time. But if Bitcoin um, is still chopping around or going sideways down, then obviously we should also expect another rejection um, from this level um, before we see here any further movement to the upside. So when we have a look also on the Bitcoin dominance, oh sorry, where is the Bitcoin dominance here? Uh, oh, I think I had it here. Sorry, guys. Um, let me see. The, so, so when we have a look on Bitcoin dominance, so here we can see. So we broke now the forty point eight nine 
percent level exactly what i had told uh, taught you guys a long time ago that this is going to happen so but obviously bitcoin is not playing nicely long right now so that's why most of the altcoins are suffering even though their dominance is dropping so what we want to see is that the bitcoin price stays either um stable and goes sideways and it's not going down or the bitcoin price is going slightly up so while the bitcoin dominance is going down and then we will actually see uh, what i was talking about um that we will see these crazy moves in most of the altcoins right now it's only partially here and there but um, the massive moves that we are waiting for for that bitcoin has to play along so but um at least we have broken under this right now sorry i have to switch it actually to the daily so um what i want to see here right now is that we close this and that the next candle actually continues this downwards movement so um, yeah, that is um, what we definitely want to see here to make a massive gains in the immediate short, in the immediate short term um, with our altcoin portfolios. Guys, that was a really quick update today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please don't forget to smash up the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and don't forget to watch these two passive income videos if you have not seen them yet. Sorry, uh, $100 a day strategy and the passive income video. And um, yeah, I will see you one more time tomorrow.